Hey guys, it's Kush here from The Hub. Just want to show you guys real quick how to use the Game Rusher website, how to get your mana coins for, you know, cheap and safe mana coins. The guys that sponsor the videos every now and again. So like I said, usually is the first link in the description down below. So you would click on GameRusher.com. Since it's for Madden, as you can see, they have more things available here, but we're going to go to NFL 21. They have PC, PS4, Xbox One coins. We're going to go over to Xbox One, add that to cart, and when you go into checkout, this is where the discount code comes in. You would enter the discount code HUBHUB for that 6% discount. You apply the coupon. You could see it is right there. And then, bam, select your way to pay. And that's it. All right, so let's let's talk about something crazy, guys. And we were talking about something crazy because ever since the win yesterday, some of y'all been going crazy. It's just been one win. We are still two and seven. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we are still about what is that? One and a half games out of the lead of the NFC East. We are still fourth place in the NFC East. We are still, you know, in the running for a top three overall pick. Just want to get that out there. But let's talk about something crazy. Obviously. Um, if you can infer from what I've been saying, let's talk about the Giants and the playoffs. That's why I said, let's talk about some crazy. I'm probably going to name this, you know, this video title along those lines. But let, let's talk about it because <laughs> I, I will definitely entertain the thought. I mean, I would love to think about, oh, yes, in some miracle world, in some timeline, the Giants somehow make it into the playoffs with like a 4 and 12, 5 and 11 record. God knows what that says about the NFL and, and how bad the NFC East is. But hey, we make it into playoffs. Who knows what happens, right? I would love for that to happen. So that's why I will entertain it. But I will not be singing that tune. No, no, no. I will not be singing that tune because I really think it's unrealistic. And I think so should many of you. But let's entertain it. Let's entertain it, right? So we have the Eagles next week. And if we do beat the Eagles... It's a big if. If we do beat the Eagles, then that becomes more, just a smidge more realistic. Not too realistic, but it becomes just a smidge more realistic because the Eagles are currently standing on top of the NFC East. We beat them. We we stand there at three and eight, and they go to three, five, and one. And then I think we go into our bye week, and well, we'll see where it takes us from there. But at three and eight, I think that puts us maybe at second or third in the nfc east and then the eagles probably still hold that top spot just because win percentage wise they would have a better win percentage than us and there's not really a tiebreaker because we split a win there the eagles did the eagles beat the cowboys i want to say that the eagles did beat the cowboys so that's another reason they would still be above us because we did not we came up short against the cowboys but here's the thing though right for this to even become a little bit more realistic, you got to beat the Eagles next week. And we all know that's that's not going to be easy. For, for all we know, that's not going to happen just because no matter what, the Giants can't seem to beat the Eagles no matter how bad of a team they are. Just like the Washington football team can't seem to beat the Giants no matter how bad of a team we are. Need I remind you guys, the Washington is, seems to be the only team the Giants could beat over the past, you know, the course of the past three years. Washington still remains the only team that Daniel Jones can beat consistently. The only other team other than Washington he's beaten is uh, Tampa Bay. And that was last year, his debut game. The Giants have scored the most points against Washington compared to any other team in the league. And the Giants have had their best defensive performances by far against Washington compared to any other teams in the league. In the league. I mean, yet Sunday... Was it yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday. Today is Monday. I'm, my brain is a little bit frazzled. We had five turnovers. We had five turnovers and we still won by just three points. That should tell you something, right? But let, let's entertain the thought. Because like I said, I would love to entertain it because, hey, what a miracle would be for this team to get into the playoffs, even though I don't think it's at all realistic. It starts with next week against the Eagles and the Eagles are a bad team. Not by any stretch of the imagination are they good. All teams in the NFC East are hot garbage, all right? I don't think the Giants are the worst, even though our record states it. I firmly believe the Cowboys are the worst team. I firmly believe that we are better than Washington at this point. I mean, we did sweep them. So I think the Giants are probably the second best team in the NFC East, even though our record doesn't say that. That doesn't mean we're playing. <laughs> I can't believe, like, I'll be laughing. I can't believe I'm entertaining it, but 
a technically speaking mathematically speaking we're still in the race as crazy as that sounds here in what is this week 10 week 11 as crazy as that sounds that that's just the case of what it is but after the eagles looking forward right we got the Bengals, and that's probably the only other winnable game or actually i take that back eagles and cowboys are the two winnable games left in our schedule in my opinion the best the giants could go is 4 and 12. i think we're definitely going to beat the cowboys because when, or should I say if, Andy Dolan comes back, I'm going to go with a when because I do think he might come back. I, I don't think the Eagle, I mean the Cowboys are really going to be that competitive or, or the Cowboys are really going to win that many games on their schedule left. And we play them last, I think the Giants, we, I think we legitimately can beat them. I mean, we beat them when they were at their best. It's just that the refs took that game from us. But I do think we could beat the Cowboys. The Eagles are winnable, not saying we're going to beat them, but it is winnable. Other than those two, it's legitimately just the Bengals that's winnable. And even then, that's gonna that's a stretch. That's going to be a challenge because the Bengals are actually doing pretty good right now. You know, Jer Bur Joe Burrow is having a great rookie year, in my opinion. And the Bengals are performing better than I thought they would. So that's not even going to be a... Um, that's not even going to be a pushover, but that's it. Say we get past the Eagles, you got to beat the Bengals. Uh, who knows what happens? We ain't beating the Seahawks. Uh, the Cardinals The Cardinals are extremely competitive in probably the best football division in the world in the NFC West. Uh, that's definitely going to be something that we're probably going to lose. The Browns have a great offense, and while they will be Cleveland, you know, Cleveland will be Cleveland, the Browns will be the Browns. I, I have a hard time imagining we somehow beat them, and we for sure were not being the Ravens. Like, the remaining schedule is anything but laid out for a path to first place in the NFC East. If it does happen, it means that we we win those three winnable games. That's Eagles, Bengals, Cowboys, and that's a 5-11 and 11 team. Oh my God, that is so terrible. That's a 5-11 and 11 team. And even then, may, yo, at that point, maybe we are first place in the NFC East because we look at the Eagles' remaining schedule. They got us, Browns, Seahawks, Packers, Saints, Cardinals, Cowboys, Washington. They have, I want to say, two winnable games on their schedule, being us and Washington. That also puts them, that puts them at 5, 10, and 1, actually, not 5, and 11, and they'd still be in first place. Washington, their remaining schedule, you got Lions, Bengals, Cowboys, Steelers, 49ers, Seahawks, Panthers, e wow, the Washington actually has a good schedule in terms of winnable games. Lions is definitely a, a winnable game. Um, 49ers at this point, or maybe the 49ers come on and have a week three type performance is a winnable game. And Bengals, no, actually, no, I take that back. Yeah, yeah, no, they have three winnable games, though. They have Lions, Cowboys, 49ers, all three of those. A winnable games that also puts them at five and eleven. Oh man, like I said, the Cowboys. I don't really think they're beating anybody else on their schedule. They're not. I don't think they're beating the Vikings. Washington blew them out the first time. I do think Washington. I said that's a winnable game for Washington, so I'd say they take that. Uh yeah. Looking at the remainder of their schedule, maybe the 49ers, but the 49ers aren't that banged up. But yeah, man, that's the crazy situation that the NFC East is in, and for. I don't want to be a Debbie Downer or rain on anybody's party. Yeah, we won that game. And yeah, we're one and a half out of the lead now, but we're still a bad team. And we still have to play actual NFL teams on the schedule and not the rest of the NFC East alone. So just keep that in mind. I just wanted to make a quick video on that. Let me know what you guys think. Put your comments down below. And oh, for anybody looking out for a skit, I know, I know, I want to make one as well. It's just that there's legitimately no time. The skits probably take the longest to make next to my preview videos because I got to write the script. I got to shoot it, which takes a lot more takes than I would assume. Like every time I go and shoot one, I'm like, oh, it's probably going to take like 30 minutes to shoot. Turns into an hour, an hour and a half. Then I got to put it together and edit it. So it's just the time. But that's it for now. And I'm out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. I'll catch you on the next one.